Hey, what's up guys? Super excited to announce that we have hit 500 subscribers. Stay tuned, we'll be doing a giveaway very soon. But today, I'm doing something that I haven't done in a while, and that's going fishing out at the Morse Family Pond. Grandpa Al got out here early this morning, had the gate unlocked for me. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lock the gate up behind me. But got up at 3 a.m., drove two hours to get here so I can fish for a few hours and then drive another two hours back to Wichita so but I'm super excited Grandpa Al's caught a uh, six pounder and a couple five pounders out of here in the last week or so so I'm hoping maybe he can put me on one of those big ones today gonna be throwing the legal dope uh, baby slap trout actually it'll be the first time that I've caught a fish on this uh, this bait so anyways guys we're gonna go ahead get the gate locked up and get on the water There you go. Think that makes number three on the hybrid hunter. I guess I hadn't hit record yet. I wasn't recording until just now. I've got one like it, I believe. Well, I don't have that exact one. Well, I know that, but we don't like the one. I think I've got one like it, though. Like that? See, mine doesn't have that part of it, though. That's not a hybrid hunter, no. <laughs> I think this kind of might be similar, but... Here, I can try this one. Hmm? I'll throw this one. I'm gonna tie this on. I've never used it before. Chartreuse is good in clear water and in dirty water. Here we go, I can see it coming in. I just got to yeah I've been fishing a lot of these six cents baits you know those big square bills I sent you those are by six cents I've been using a lot of their stuff I got I'm have like a monthly subscription box and they send me baits every month and they're all good Yeah, this thing has a wide wobble. 
Oh, there we go. Sean hit it too. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we didn't get a hook in us there. Yeah, I'm just glad the hook didn't get one of us. <laughs> That was on the uh, six cents. I think they call this the movement. This is one that I've done an unboxing on. Gosh, that thing is, look how far that kicks. Yeah. That thing is aggressive. I tell you what, I work on that blade is good. I mean, I mean, I, I just lift it. Burning it? I burn it, and then I take them, and then I pull it and burn it. You yeah. Know, you pull it and burn it, and they just smack it. Yeah. And then you burn it, it gets their attention, they see it stop, and then they see it take off again, and they're like, oh, I better get it now, here's my chance. Yeah. You know, that's that classic reaction. Little guy. Oh, I got one. Oh, nope. I had, no, I had a bite. I know, I better get it back in there. Oh, I lost him again. Probably a little tiny one. <laughs> on that big boy. On the big boy. Over here, I'm gonna go calling on this corner. Then I'm gonna come back this way here. This is a very good area here. This is where that new water moves up in the nine foot of water and ten foot of water, but that's the Tony thought his big. Nine fourteen. Oh, this year. We caught the best one. One, one pound bear in my year, so I caught that. <laughs> so you got him beat. You can't let him beat you in your own boat. <laughs> okay.
That one's a little better. There you go. Two pounder. I would say so. two-pounder on the legal dope baby slap trout oh I didn't mean to I was trying to cast left-handed and that didn't work out so well And it drops off like right here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It kind of has a drop off right here. Right here. Right. And then it drops off though, doesn't it? Doesn't it drop off? Over there? No, over here. Yeah, right. right. We're, we're only in five foot of water, right? Still here. in five? Okay. I was thinking we were in probably 12 foot, but okay. I always think this is more of a shout or more of a. All right, there he is, showing us how to use the thumper. Oh yeah, I can see the bottom right here, all the grass. What uh, trailer do you have? Oh, you have that craw trailer on there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, I think I might have caught one just as small earlier. <laughs> Okay. Oh. No, maybe I'm not. Say, I thought I was hooked up. Yeah.
I'm gonna open this box up. See what they sent us here. Oh, look at the color of that bag. <laughs> nice. You think there's something inside here we could use today? There's a nice square bill. Yes, it is. Crush 100X, two to five foot. That's gonna be the Shad Burst. Ooh, Divine Shaky Worm. Black and blue, it's called Plum Fleck. That'd be a good drop shot worm. I was thinking about throwing a drop shot at those fish we see on seen on the graph. Here's a prawn, green pumpkin burst. It's like a craw, kind of a craw creature bait. That'd be a good trigger, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to throw it on, just let me know. Okay. Grandpa Al's gonna give it a shot. And then the center, you can break it apart if you want. Yeah, I will. See if we can get one on the prong. What else do we got in this bag? Ooh, a curved finesse square bill. Pro blue. Oh, that's nice. Divine swim baits, gill dust. That's a good looking color. Swank, hey, look what was in my bag. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it is. It's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Grandpa I was throwing the Strike King uh, Hybrid Hunter, and I guess this is Six Senses version of it. It's called the Swank 77X, and this is Bleeding Shad. I might have to throw that. Grandpa I caught a bunch of those on that today. And we got another hard bait here. We got the Quake. Ooh, that looks good. Grass Sunfish. Yeah. That's good looking. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to try to catch some fish on some of these. I don't know which one will do the trick, but I think I might tie on this as a drop shot. Here, I got one. Uh, I got one for you. Same brand. And I put some stinky juice on it. Is it a bigger, bigger call? It kicks. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty slimy though. You think the slime don't it? <laughs> I I added that on there. Just cause they <laughs> they didn't have any uh smell to them, so I added that it's a power bait one. Yeah, I got better action than Yeah. I've caught a lot of fish on that stroker crawl you got on there. Done pretty good on it. Yeah. Heck yeah, that's a good one.
like that one you had some counter in it. Yeah. Maybe that's two and a quarter. I think you might have me beat. <laughs> I throw him out. <laughs> that was on the thumper. I think you might have got me on that one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, he took off with my worm. Dang, you done took a chunk out of that thing. Oh crap. First one on the divine shaky worm and plum. All right, time for another worm, I guess. All right, guys. Had a really good day on the water with my grandpa Al. Uh, camera died on me so I don't know how much of it you guys actually got to see I guess we'll find out once we get to editing this footage we caught a bunch of fish or I caught a bunch of fish on the drop shot grandpa Al was fishing around a uh, strike king hybrid hunter I caught a couple on the legal dope slap trout I caught a couple of jig fish um, it was a good day caught a lot of fish probably you know 40 50 fish or so just myself that drop shot really put in a lot of work today. I was using that Six Sense Divine Shaky Head Worm. It was in a plum color. Uh, worked out great. Definitely gonna go. Definitely gonna throw that one on a drop shot a little bit more. Um, definitely gave me some confidence in the drop shot that I haven't, you know, had in a while. Haven't caught fish on that in a while. So my thumbs are pretty tore up. I don't know if you can see there, but it was a good day, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to Wichita. Had a good day on the water. Thanks for joining us.